Have you ever seen a moment so unexpected, so flawlessly timed, that it seemed almost too unreal to be real? Like this guy shake before we start. Yo! When I got Yo. here, and Lin now is still shaking. Bruce, a rising YouTube sensation, steps into a tattoo shop. He's accompanied by his girlfriend and his close friend, Telek. The plan? Matching tattoos to mark a special moment. We're getting matching tattoos. Bruce's vlog captures his excitement, but just as the tattoo gun buzzes to life, the atmosphere shifts. In walks Joseph Derry, smooth, confident, ready to stir the pot with his signature line. We can do couple switch phone, yeah, no. uh, switch phone. Idea, that man. Uh, no. His entrance is so unexpected, fans have joked that it felt like a scene straight out of a reality show. Despite that, I don't touch a woman like that. Despite that, don't touch a woman like that. Despite Despite that. Like that. Despite Despite that. that. Now let's hit pause for a second. Joseph isn't just any creator. He's the undisputed master of loyalty tests and exposés. Now I'm trying to help you not to fight. But... The kind of guy who can turn a casual meetup into a viral conversation. With a reputation for revealing secrets and turning relationships upside down. But the big question buzzing in everyone's mind is this. How did he know Bruce was here? Did Telek tip him off? Telek didn't do anything. Was it a well-orchestrated coincidence? Or is there a bigger gameplay? No spreading humans. No spreading humans go. No spreading humans go. Strong and bam. Back to the tattoo shop. Hi, my sister. How are you? Joseph. Joseph's unexpected entrance flips the vibe. Bruce, caught off guard, tries to deflect, laughing nervously as he mutters, When? When? Not today, though. Oh. <laughs> Not today. Maybe later. His girlfriend exchanges a glance. But if there's one thing we know about Joseph, it's that he doesn't back down. He senses the tension, the unease, and he's not about to let this golden opportunity slip through his fingers. Bruce's awkward responses only fuel Joseph's determination, and the viewers can feel the pressure. Bruce's past is reflected in this moment. So I heard a lot of you guys busy talking here. Busy telling me, hey, 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 Bruce will never get a baddie. Does anyone know this <laughs> Fans haven't forgotten his roller coaster journey. From public rejections to finally finding a partner who loved him for him. Joseph sees an opening. If my sister says it's okay, I don't know. No, I wanna know. <laughs> You're actually making me wanna go through your phone now. Your whole reaction is making me wanna go through your phone now. The girlfriend, sensing something's off, sides with Joseph. She insists on the phone swap, leaving Bruce with no escape. At this point, the tension is sensible. Even Telek is instigating. Telek is like, he's bombarding. He's like, yeah, yeah, do it, do it, do it. Me in my head, I'm like, buddy. When Telek walked in, he was holding his phone. Recording with his phone and avoiding eye contact. And that's when the truth comes crashing down. When was this? This was long ago. Long ago. As she scrolls, her eyes land on something she thought was gone for good. An account she made Bruce delete months ago. Let me tell you, Stop Nick. lying, uh -huh. brother. I went we through found your Instagram so... mm -hmm. on your content phone, mm -hmm. Nick. That girl, the one we searched, I removed her and now she's number one again. She's bad. Meaning you searched her. The account belonged to a girl she considered a threat. A lingering shadow from Bruce's past. Yet here it is, active and alive, with fresh messages exchanged. And you can even see the chats, boy. It ends before he even started speaking to Sony. On what was meant to be a day of celebration, everything crumbles. But the plot gets bigger. You see, when we want love, that's where we become more obsessed. Yes. Because you're obsessed to find that love, but you can't find the love. I call this nigga. I'm like, yo, gang, like, why am I here in the... You are just sneaking the boys. How did Joseph time this so perfectly? Fans are split. Some are convinced Telek was the snitch. One of the boys they like in the studio and stuff, called Telek. Me and Kitty, choose the flans, choose the flans, whatsoever we're chopping. Uh, 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 uh. Subtly steering the narrative. Others think Joseph's arrival was a coincidence. A twist of fate that couldn't have been planned. I'm showing a video now there's five other YouTubers at the same place. Just used him for the location and Joseph is probably never gonna hang with Tillich again, let's be honest, Chad. And then there are the whispers about Ghost, Bruce's friend, 
who once hinted at Bruce's vulnerability to toxic influences. Here's the kicker. I think I didn't set up that plan. I was never going to do that. My intentions were never that. To be honest, me guys, let me tell you guys this truth. The, the truth. I've been wanting to go through Bruce's phone. Both Joseph and Bruce captured the entire saga on their respective channels, with fans playing detective to piece together the truth. He glazed Joseph just for that moment, just to get some validation. Whole time Bruce has done shit that you wouldn't even believe he's done for telling. Was this an elaborate setup? Is Bruce the victim? Look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at this. The last chat I had with the Please girl, I said, I'm sorry, I wish things could go perfect, but then I'm in love with some other girl. Done. Or the villain. And where does Telic fit into all of this? The comment section has exploded with theories, debates, and a wave of opinions. Joseph hits me up too, right? Because of, we need to get here, bro. There's a difference between a setup and the whole thing. I didn't devise no plan, gang. Some are rallying behind Bruce arguing it's all a misunderstanding blown out of proportion. I ended up unfollowing Talik because Talik literally was the only person that knew where I was and what I was doing. Others are firmly in Joseph's corner, praising his entertainment while uncovering information. And then there are the conspiracy theorists who think this might all be a planned collaboration for views. So what's your take? Was Bruce caught red-handed, or is he just another setup in a larger game? And what about Telic, an innocent bystander or secret instigator? Drop your thoughts in the comments, because this saga is far from over. We'll be back next time on Next Level. S.A.